First step is to install the ISAT Hub Control app and the Voice app. So we search for Inmarsat in the App Store and we're able to download the Control app. That's starting. We're also going to get the Inmarsat Voice app. I set the voice app, get, install. Open the Play Store, search for MRSAT Voice. I set the control app. Accept the terms and conditions. Also install the control app. got the ISAT Hub rental from us, the SIM card is already installed. To power on the unit, you'll press and hold the power button for at least four seconds and let go. So these two arrows, these arrows are pointing and LED indicators to let you know uh, your signal strength and if you're pointing in the right direction. It's flashing green letting me know that I need to point the terminal up. At this time I'm going to go ahead and join the Wi-Fi network. We're going to take it outside and point it for real. And the wireless password is printed right there. I'm going to give you guys a quick run through the ISAT Hub Control app. Up here it displays that data is not currently connected. We are connected to the ISAT Hub, but we're not connected to the network at the present time. Our signal strength is 48 decibels. Anything over 45 decibels is suitable to connect to the network. Our Wi-Fi is connected to ISAB. Before we connect, I'm going to show you a couple uh, features in the menu to help you use the ISAT Hub better. First, any devices that connect to the Wi-Fi and put in the passcode will show up under devices. The admin has one login and all the guests will use other logins. And when they connect for the first time, they'll be able to name their device. So you'll see a name up here, iPhone, Android, or you can name the devices yourself, iPad. Now we can see iPads connected. I can set each device for enabling data, internet, or to allow incoming calls or outgoing calls. You can also open up uh, every device and set how much uh, data is going to be used. And you can block each device too. Under settings, we can Pick our language, English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, Japanese, Russian, Arabic. Here we can see all of our devices connected. Under usage it's going to display all the usage. And we can enable a data limit for 20 megabytes. Apply. This will reset the previous data limit. tell you exactly how many kilobytes out of megabytes that you've used. You're going to get a warning at 70%. You can also move that around depending on your settings. 
under the firewall you can turn on firewall and you can apply certain profiles and you can open up the web console in order to only allow email or only allow internet browsing change the Wi-Fi password, we can change how the security is, the algorithm, passwords, change security settings. This is the pointing assist. You're still recording, right? Yeah. Let's try to connect to the network. Registered. You can use the iSat Hub voice app. You want to let ISAT Hub access your contacts. I click registered and now our uh, account is registered. <laughs> Go on, we can cut that stuff. menu you can also send text messages. Like over on the data app. We're still, we're currently still connected to ISAT Hub. Uh, we have 51 decibels of signal. Anything over 45 is strong. We have 85% signal strength. We're gonna go ahead and connect for data. Now we're online. You can go browse the web. Load an average page like Google. We've used almost one megabyte of data. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got it.